who's going to put anything in hell infinitely, or rather eternally, that to me is ethically problematic. Yeah, we do not believe it. Oh, no, if, you, if, I, if we now do a straw poll of Muslims here and go, do you think that any souls ever have or will end up eternally in hell? I think you'll find most of them will say yes. So maybe they've misunderstood the claim. I believe, yeah, perhaps they won't. They may have misunderstood it, but then we need to clarify that point because within the religion there seems to be disagreement. I hope you're right, and I think your interpretation of the creed I hope is correct. But I think it's possible that you've been a bit benign and misinterpreted the creed. And their creed. Perhaps I've misinterpreted it to fit. So but I hope I'd right. like to be true. Right, it's yeah. possible. But perhaps like an ideal sort of afterlife, you know, like oh, yeah. not everyone goes forever. Good. I like that. I think that instinct comes from your filter. That would be my instinct. But to have that instinct is good. I get concerned that there are some people who are perfectly happy to go, oh, I don't mind if Alice sends somebody to hell for infinity, as long as I get what I want right, forever. That's not worrying. I mean, I was also raised um, Jewish by my mother. And uh, we believe all Jews will eventually go to heaven. Even if they get punished for, for a while, they'll be punishment for a while. But even, perhaps I'm mistaken here, but I believe um, in the Quran, and I forgot exactly the context, I'm, I'm sorry for just talking this out of nowhere. I believe it says, uh, you will be sent to, to hell and that will be your abode for a time. Okay, I've, he I've heard that's in yeah. Hence, it's not necessarily you being there, you know, a 